Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of The Sovereign Goatman, uncut, unedited, and straight from the heart. Uh, so, just moving forward, whenever you see me uh, post from this spot here, I'm going to call this my, my, my freedom cave. Uh, I'm going to talk about the subject of freedom because it's uh, near and dear to my heart and it's very important for all of us, not just for Americans, but uh, for all of uh, humanity. If you're in the liberty movement, you're pretty familiar with the uh, the no step on snake flag scene up here, right there. It's like uh, you know, it's like uh, basically imagine if you're Steve Irwin, the the late Steve Irwin, and you're you see a rattlesnake and you have a stick and you're like, oh look at that beautiful snake! And you keep poking it. Eventually, that snake is gonna strike you, man. You know what I'm saying? So just leave the snake alone, leave people alone. That's what we stand for. I'm gonna tell you a story that happened ooh, over 200 years ago. Thomas Jefferson, uh, when he was president, he appointed a young cadet by the name of uh, Alden Partridge to attend West Point. West Point was a brand new institution at the time. And uh, eventually uh, Alden, uh, he was actually one of the first graduates of West Point to get a commission, and he was commissioned first lieutenant. Uh, make a, he did a lot of good things for God and country. Eventually, he became, years later, he became the superintendent of West Point. And he had this radical idea of citizen-soldier concept. Uh, West Point, at the time, um, was developed to produce professional, op professional officers within the officer's corps. And also at the time, the, uh, a lot of the founding fathers, to include Partridge, they were actually afraid that standing armies would be a threat to a young republic. So the, the young captain, he promoted this uh, concept of uh, citizen soldiery. So what is citizen soldier? So basically, the idea is that every person, in order for that person to be a good soldier, you must first become a good citizen. And... Uh, that was that was his, his idea as opposed to creating a professional class of officers and uh, eventually because of of his uh, radical ideas uh, he was replaced by and I can't if I mispronounce his name I I, I apologize Sylvanus Thayer uh, so President Monroe years later Monroe sent Thayer to replace Partridge and Partridge refused to step down. So eventually he was court-martialed and then he fought and eventually he resigned. Uh, you know, basically President Monroe said, Alden, you were fired. So he left the academy, but he he kept his his passion. He actually rode up and down the East Coast promoting his idea of the citizen soldier concept. And the purpose of that really is to, so that uh, Americans, whatever they are in the private sector, that they'd be able to take up arms to defend our country against foreign invaders. But most importantly, nobody really talks about this, is to defend our nation against internal tyrants. Very, very important to, uh, to understand that. So he founded, this awesome institution called the American Military, Literary, and Scientific Academy. And later on, it became Norwich, my beloved alma mater. Norwich is the oldest private military college in the country. And it, it is also the birthplace of ROTC, Reserve Officers Training Corps. So for, for the past 200 years, Norwich has been producing leaders for both the military and business in the private sector. And um, it's something that um, I'm, I'm really proud of. A lot of my Norwich brothers and sisters are, are proud of the fact that our alma mater was founded by a rebel. So yes, being a rebel runs in our DNA. Not all of us though, because I know a couple of guys in my class who embrace uh, socialism and communism. In, in other words, they're full-blown commies, but that's beside the point. There is always gonna be exception to the rule. So I think I'm running out of time here. Uh, I made a promise that I'm only gonna make my videos less than five minutes, so I'm almost up to that mark. Uh, so with that, I look forward to sharing more, more freedom videos in the near future. And with that, the Sovereign Goldman is out.